I was recently approached by the folks from WinFox to take a look at some of the courses in their website. One course in particular caught my attention and that is the Medieval Fantasy 3D Kit Creation Course. The reason I found this course appealing is because I noticed upon looking at the trailer that the content was very much in line with some of the things that I have taught in some of my courses. So this course takes you through the process of creating a 3D scene rendered in Blender. But the process is very much the same type of process you would use for creating environments for games. By that, I mean that the course runs you through the process of creating various different assets in such a way in which they can be reused to create an entire scene. I'm sharing this particular course with you guys is because I often get comments from people asking for good courses using free software like Blender. This course walks you through the modeling process in Blender, which as we all know, is a free software. Quixel Mixer is used for texturing, Mixer is also a free program you can download. 3D Code is used for sculpting, now this is not a free program, but it's very affordable, at least compared to the competition. One cool thing about this course is that you don't need to have a lot of pre-existing experience using the programs that are used throughout the videos. Jose, the course creator, was mindful enough to include enough introductory information for each program while keeping this information short and to the point. The course guides you through the process of modeling, sculpting, and texturing a good number of assets, keeping in mind the importance of small, medium, and large assets and how they contribute to an environment. The course provides enough information for the viewers to be able to utilize the information to also make their own assets as well. One cool thing I really enjoyed while watching the videos is that Jose reused a lot of his assets to create many different variants. This is a smart approach as it saves a lot of time in creating different looking assets. At the end of the course, Jose shows you how to put it all together and create a very appealing render using Blender. While he uses Blender for his render, I can totally see the same approach being used if you were to put it all together in something like Unreal. Overall, I believe this is a great course for beginners and more advanced artists as well. If you're looking to get into environment art for games, I would highly suggest you take a look at this one as the way things are constructed is very much the same way environments for games are put together. I left a link in the video description for you to check this one out. Also once again, thank you to the folks from Wingfox for giving me access to this course.